this guy is nice and stuck on here. I think the, the socket is stuck to the uh, screw extractor, and the screw extractor is stuck to the bolt. Okay, well that came out. This guy is still stuck. This thing is like permanently on there. I really don't even know how to get this thing out. Well, I guess that's just how that's gonna that's gonna go now. All good. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get this guy taken apart so I can clean all of the uh, metal shavings from drilling that bolt out out of the adjuster. I have it in this little plastic bag because I'm a little worried it's gonna spill oil everywhere. So there's these five tiny little screws in here. They have T25 heads on them. So I'm just gonna give this a shot, see, see what I can do here. I'm gonna have to put the camera down so I can hold this. I'm gonna grab some gloves and hopefully I can hold that. If I can't, then I'm gonna have to stick this in a vise. I just started to strip that. I think it's okay. Definitely just strip that a fair amount. So uh, definitely be careful. I don't want to have to drill more stuff out. And now use a screw extractor for this. Okay, I cannot generate enough force with this little quarter inch. Gotta love a half an inch to a three eighths, three eighths to a quarter inch. This will be interesting. Well, I just tightened it more like an idiot. Okay, so that one's coming out. It's a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be. They come all the way through to that little hole in the back. See that little hole right there? That's where it threads into on the other side. Okay, let's see what this thing looks like here. So supposedly there's a spring in here. Okay, so yeah, so there's a spring right there. There's only one way to install this. See right there, the little cap that goes on the spring. So this is just a cover. This should not matter the direction. So this is how you adjust timing. So you'll either fill oil into these passages right here to make it you know, go this the way it already is, or you'll start filling oil into these little tiny passages to start making it turn like that. And you can just go back and forth, and that's how it adjusts the timing. So far I'm noticing this top, the outer face on this has this little square divot up at the top, right there. And then this piece rotates, I don't know if this separates, it does. This is the dirtiest piece right here. Then we got this piece right here, and that right there is where the spring sits, right there. Cool, it's a very simple piece. I'm gonna clean all this out with brake cleaner and, and wipe it down, and then I'll put some more oil on it and put it back together. Okay, so I'm gonna start reassembling this, and I'm gonna lube it up with plenty of motor oil because I don't wanna run any risk of this getting damaged, especially because I just completely cleaned it out and dried it all out of any uh, oil that was in it. And once the car is running, this will this will get plenty of lubrication. But between now and then, this thing needs oil. Just getting oil in everywhere. Oh yeah, that thing's spinning nicely now. Now we got this little pin. Put that guy in. Then we'll get the spring. Then 
this piece. Oh, uh, the outside <laughs> does not need oil. <laughs> this thing's gonna be super oily. I'm gonna have to clean oil off the outside, but that's all right. That little like square piece indicates that there's a there's an up and a down, but as far as like orientation, which way it goes that way, it doesn't appear to matter. Okay, then this cover, I'm just gonna put it back on the way it was so I can see that right there, there's the most wear. So that has to be from the spring. So I'm gonna put that back in the, the same spot. Uh, I'm gonna just put some oil around the outside of this first so that it seals nicely. Okay, and then can't forget the little cap. Before you put the cover on, you have to make sure that you're in, that this thing is rotated correctly because this has all the holes for the little tiny screws. Let's get this spring back in. My pin is definitely still in there because that's not moving. Okay, so I did those as tight as I could using a quarter inch and gripping the teeth right here with some gloves. So not super tight, but they really weren't on there super tight to begin with. 